Hi, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors video, I will show you how to create AutoCAD Civil 3D parcels from objects. So I'm going to switch to model space, and you can see I have line work drawn for a residential neighborhood. And what I'll be doing is concentrating on using the objects in this block that I'm running the cursor around to turn into parcels. So the first thing is to make sure that your objects close, that there are no gaps or overlaps. And you can see here I left a, a gap in intentionally and if we try to create parcels then that's going to create a problem. So I'm just going to extend that line to the rear property line and that way all the line work closes on this. So the next step is you can see over in the prospector tab in the tool space there's a container for sites. I'm going to right click on that, select new, and the site properties dialog box comes up. I'm going just to rename or name this new site rather, uh, block A. Okay. And if we just expand block A in the site, you'll see we can create alignments, feature lines, grading groups, and parcels, which will be concentrating on. You can create sites on the fly in the next step if you'd like, but we'll leave that for another time. So in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2012, I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon and select Parcel, and there's the option for Create Parcel from Objects. You may need to find it in a different location, that command on older versions of AutoCAD Civil 3D. And you can see on the bottom here the actual command line command is AECC create parcel from objects. So you could type that command in and get to this point too. That's AECC create parcel from objects, one word, big long word. And then I'm just going to go around and then select the curves and the lines that are the objects I want to use to create a parcel. little one right there. Hit enter and you'll see the create parcel from objects dialog box opens and it's set for block A which is the only site we've created in here so that's what we want these to go into and that the parcel style is set for the property parcel style and then I have some settings for the parcel layer and the parcel segment layer and then on the bottom here you can see automatically add segment labels which I'm going to select because I want to do that so we'll automatically label all the lines and curves and then the area and name for the lot too for the area label and style and then on the bottom you see I, I have selected or it came up by default erase existing entities and I do want to do that because it makes the drawing a lot cleaner by deleting those uh, lines and entities and curves I just created. If you deselect it, then it will still create your parcels, but that original line work will still be there under it. Just uh, not as clean a way of working by doing that. So I'm going to select that again. Hit OK, and you can see that it now created nine parcels within this block, and the default naming was just to call it property space colon and then space by increasing numbers and it did that um, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the prospector tab and under block A you'll see parcels need to be updated so I'll right click on that select refresh I'll expand that so there you are there's the nine parcels that were created and in another video we'll go through on how to work with those parcels uh, their properties. For instance, the first thing you might want to do is to rename them, but um, that's for another video. So that's how you create AutoCAD Civil 3D parcels from objects. And this has been Eric Colburn from EricColburn.com with your AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors video.